Good evening. Don't you just love Christmas? You get to open presents, eat good food, chill with your lovely family, listen to catchy music, stay warm, destroy your polyphasic adaptation... Wait, what? Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. Okay, so today's video is going to be about Christmas. Uh, the thing with Christmas is that it's terrible for polyphasic sleep adaptations. Like 100% schedule wrecking guaranteed. Um, like you can't even fathom how hard it is to stay on schedule during Christmas. It's really really bad and in this video I'll explain in detail why it's bad and also what you can do to try to avoid completely demolishing your adaptation. So let me start by setting up the stage, okay? Why exactly are polyphasic sleep schedules so easily broken during Christmas? Well picture this. You can take time off from work, which means less stress, which should improve your adaptation, right? Uh, big no. The extra time off you get for Christmas is nice, sure, but it also means that you have nothing to do. Uh, you know one of those things that keeps polyphasic adaptations going, you know, having urgent things to do. Basically, you need to have a lot of things to do in order to succeed with your polyphasic adaptations. Uh, not for successfully adapted schedules, but <laughs> oh boy, my sweet summer child, how naive you are. No, Christmas will also wreck your adapted schedules, don't you worry. <laughs> okay, so, so free time is bad. And you can of course try to fix that by setting up small task goals that you should get done during Christmas to avoid that. Maybe take the Christmas day and Christmas Eve off or decrease the workload or something, but you need to keep yourself busy. Note, this doesn't apply to adapted polyphasic schedules since you don't need to keep fighting the endless tiredness anymore. Uh, regardless, the next thing that will get you is food. During Christmas you will eat a lot of food, like a lot, uh, and an overfull belly is a recipe for an oversleep, even on adapted polyphasic schedules. And this can be pretty hard to avoid since your grandma is so uh, keen on keeping you full and she'll definitely notice if you eat less, you know. And okay, um, you may be able to chug yourself full during your Christmas Eve meal, but be sure to immediately get up and move around so that your body produces adrenaline to counteract the sleepiness that you get from overeating. Like, Maybe you can ask your uncle if you if they want to go on a quick walk with you after your meal or you can go fetch some firewood or something, you know, move after your meal. <clears throat> and speaking of moving, that's one of the big things that will get you. During Christmas, it's very common to remain extremely stationary, like just sitting on the sofa, then moving to the dinner table, then moving back to the sofa and so on. All of this will increase your chance of oversleeping, so try to avoid that. Help your mom out in the kitchen instead, keep yourself active so you don't fall asleep. There's also a lot of emotional baggage that comes with Christmas, like your racist stepdad making a fool of himself, which wears you out. Hanging out with a lot of people 24-7 can also be really heavy on you. This will also increase the risk of you oversleeping, so either tank the hit or spend some time chilling by yourself every day or something, you know. Avoid tiring yourself out too much from too much social interaction. And now to the big big thing that wrecks polyphasic sleep schedules. Not adhering to your schedule. Oh, you have a nap at 12? Well forget it, you need to make the table. <laughs> oh, you need to start wearing your red glasses at 22 or 10 pm? No chance, you look like a fool and your grandpa is afraid of red glasses and so on. This is a big 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 thing, okay? You want to ensure that you can Stick to your schedule during this time. No skipping naps, be persistent. No going to sleep later. Your little cousin, cousin can play Mario Kart by himself. No skipping sleep, no oversleeping. Stick to your schedule during this time. And this is of course easier said than done. In fact, during 2017, Pretty much all adapted people on the Discord wrecked their adaptations. <laughs> like the number of currently adapted people decreased from about 20 
to maybe one or two. <laughs> it was absolutely mental. Christmas is a really tough time for polyphasic adaptations. And speaking of the Discord, if you want to join a big community of polyphasic sleepers where people are keen on helping each other adapt, join the Discord. It's great. The link there will as always be in the description of the video. If you're thinking about starting a polyphasic adaptation, I would really suggest you hold off on doing it until you are done with Christmas. Like, I usually encourage people to start their polyphasic adaptations ASAP, you know, reco after recovering and cutting out caffeine or and whatnot, because it's so life-changing. But in this case, you really don't. If you can avoid it, wait until Christmas is done in order to start your adaptation. The, tra the track record is so darn bad for polyphasic adaptations during Christmas. And if you choose to try to keep your schedule intact, <laughs> good luck, you'll need it. Okay, definitely let me know what your experience with Christmas and polyphasic adaptations has been like in the comment section below. If you have any problems that weren't discussed in this video, let everyone know. If you have some tips on how to keep your schedule intact, <laughs> also let everybody know that too. If you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned the dark period. If you're like, hmm, what's that? Don't worry, I got you covered. The dark period is an essential lifestyle to keep uh, in mind when you are sleeping polyphasically in order to avoid future health risks. If you want to learn more, check out the free course available on polyphasic.net that will be linked in the description. Uh, check it out and stay ahead of your health game so that you don't develop any nasty diseases. Okay. Good luck with your adaptations. This was a pretty negative video, but sometimes truth hurts. Regardless, keep fighting the good fight and remember to nap well, people!